Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage. Thanks for joining me this week. It's another lovely sunny day here in Ireland and it's very rare that we get nice summers. So I thought I'd take advantage of spending more time outdoors and do some recycling of tin cans that everybody has when they're cooking and make some beautiful lanterns. I'm gonna show you how I made them, so let's get started. Take off the covers and wash in warm soapy water. You can use a wire scrub to get off any sticky bits. Fill the tin nearly to the top with some sand. I got the sand from the beach down the road and then add some water. This is going to keep the tin firm for when you're piercing the holes. Place it in the freezer until it freezes. I'd recommend that you put all the tins into your freezer overnight and then do the holes the following day. You'll need a hammer and a nail and just place on a towel just for some cushioning and you're gonna hammer in the holes using the nails. Totally random holes is perfect. If you want to do a pattern, you can. So keep going, it's very simple and go all around the tins. Do two holes at the top and you can use these for hanging the wire in later. Next, get rid of all the sand from inside and you're going to fill it with newspaper and then spray paint or paint with any paint you like. I had some leftover spray paint from a previous project. Once they are dry, you can then apply the wire. I use some jewelry wire. Make them as long or as short as you like. In with the wire, twist it about. And there you have it. Do all of your tins the same, like so, or mix and match if you like, change the color up, whichever you like. And then all you need is a little nightlight in each tin. And display them on some decking, in the garden, wherever you like, to create a really lovely ambiance in the lovely warm evening weather. There you have it, a really simple DIY project to add some nice ambiance and character to the outside garden. That is it for this week. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't and you would like to see more videos, DIY, healthy recipes and simple living. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with anyone that enjoys a good old bit of DIY in the summer. And until next week, love to see you then. Bye for now.